Hi, how are you doing Capricorn? This is your August reading. I hope this reading resonates and I hope you appreciate the suit and the tie because um, it's a vibe and I don't know there's this thing about Capricorns just buffing up, levering up. Yeah, you walk, you might be thinking it's not getting recognized but trust me, the attention is there. People are looking. Nobody's sleeping on you, Capricorn. Trust me, everybody's just looking. It's just not everybody's on the same wave, man. Not everybody's riding. Um, nobody, not, not everybody thinks as fast as you do. Here we go. I really hope you're having a wonderful one. Um, August. August really seems like the month of um, challenges in some, in some eyes. Just new territories, new experiences. You might be having to overwalk yourself, you know, overdue. You might be having some things that are overdue in your world, in your reality. They seem like they never end. Or just you never get satisfaction. That's part of being a goat. When people try to push you off a mountain, you're gonna love you're gonna land with your feet. Just rub it off. Just rub it off, man. Just rub it off. Yeah, I just had that um, fall down, you know, but that's cool. I'll come back again. I'll do better, you know. Let me see. What was another feeling? Huh. It was uh, last, last memories. That's kind of interesting. The memories you build with people around you, with those around you, I feel like they last forever. It's something to always look back to. You're aiming for the stars. And I feel like people can see it. People can see it and feel it. I'm hoping you're bossing up as well. I'm guessing you're bossing up. Because you got to realize if things just go down, you got to upgrade yourself. You gotta do something different. Just stand on top. I'm loving this instant. And now I wanna blow in my face. <laughs> Many men. Oh, trust me, it was, it was some songs that I was listening to uh, before I did this reading. It's just, it just. Just play one song and leave everything else on cue. Undetermined, not knowing what's gonna come next. I feel like many people wanna do what you do. Many wish they can do what you do. I mean, you're a fucking Capricorn. They wish they can. But that's the fall. That's the fall of man. As soon as they start trying to be like you, trying to build themselves like you, that's the fall of man. Why can't they build themselves on their own? Why can't they be themselves? Why are they trying to be like you? Well, let me say it like this so that you can maybe uh, hear this in other sense. Why are they trying to be like me? Why are, they, why are they always trying to build their wall or just trying to be jealous so that they can bring me down? Why do they be happy when I'm down and when I'm down, they want me to get back up again? Be with them and be happy and proudful like nothing happened. They want what I have, but they can't get what I have. They want to get on the level I'm on, but they don't even reach halfway. Because what's destined for me is for me. Sometimes you might be feeling lonely. Like you're fighting the battles on your own. But you have a whole crowd of people behind you. You do not even realize how precious you are in the environment you're in. You know? You have a whole crowd of people fanning on you. But you don't let people in like that because you're too focused. That's not a bad thing. That's actually a good thing. 
let me do me let me get to where i want to get to and then we're gonna talk later i got shit to do you know i got the whole world i have my world to run if everybody's just trying to be playful and this wilding up never works out I gotta be, I gotta be the, the trendsetter. I gotta start the line. Things don't just happen with partying and just wilding out and just resting. Things happen by getting the work done and celebrating that the work is done. Maybe in this August month, your bank is going to be blowing up. Your finances are really actually going to be moving up. But I just need you to actually put in the work, the effort. You might be traveling soon. You might be traveling soon too. To really nice places. Really, really beautiful places. And everybody who was with you, around you, they just have their eyes on you. Oh, look at them, look at them, look at them. It might just feel like right now you're sleeping on, on a concrete edge, just feeling like on the solid ground. But paradise is coming in for you. Not because, not because this is going to be your whole life, but this is just an experience for you to look back to and aim to always never come back to. When you upgrade yourself, you upgrade the whole pack. Whatever you do, people just want to spy and have your eye on you. You might not see it because they do it secretly. But they have so much to offer or so much to say. Whatever happens, feel low, feel down, feel up. Go harder with whatever you do. Go harder, two times, three times harder. Do it better. Do something different about what you do. And on top of that, do it with love, with all your heart. And do it so much better than you did it last time. Because whatever you're having in your hands right now, whatever opportunity you're going after, whatever career, whatever job you're going after, that's for you. And you cannot be sleeping in your own world. I'm wearing a sweat and tie to tell you you're a fucking boss. A fucking motherfucking boss. You cannot be sleeping on your whole company. The whole world is looking after you, onto you. The whole world can be falling down because because you give up. The world needs you to push. Whatever you believe in, whatever you value, keep pushing. It's yours. For the taking. It was handed to you from the grace and the love of God. Do not waste potential. Do not put that potential to waste. Do not. Milk every single inch of that cup that's being given to you. Drain it to the max. Because this is your legacy. This is your name. This is your world. 
for the taking. And if you don't want it, if you don't want it, you're giving up on the world. You have so much on your shoulders at this time. It just needs you to keep pushing. Keep pushing. Whatever you believe in, nobody might be seeing what's in your cup. But you see what's in your cup. You know what's in your cup. You know what you possess. You know what you have. You know what's your value. And you know what you're destined for. Why are you going to give up on that? If it's love, love with a, a little taste of I'm in it for the being. Claim it. Claim what's yours. Claim it. <laughs> Claim it. Do it and then do it better. The star. The motherfucking star. I'm telling you. People are looking up to you at this moment. Jesus fucking Christ. You are people's happiness in their world. Wherever you are, you're the sun, you're the glow. I trust me. Being the sun is it's fucking... Yeah, it might be feeling... Trust me. The sun in the tarot is like the happiest card. But you being the sun, you emit the heat. You emit the joy. You bring happiness and joy to others. But it drains you. Trust me, it drains you. You have this energy that you give off everybody's cerebrus about. But it drains you. It's kind of like I'm giving off, but who's giving me? You know, it drains you. You have such responsibility at this point. The star and the sun, people look up to you. Everybody wants to be like, everybody looks at you and then they make wishes to be like you. Everybody makes a wish to turn up like you. They walk to be where you are. The sun and the moon. You might be feeling abandoned in some situation. Feeling lost. But that's cause, well, let's just say it's some shit they be hiding. Secrets. You know, sometimes people want you to feel the same way they feel. Who gives a shit? That's fine. It shows me how you feel. But how I feel? Claim it. How do you feel personally? Not involving other people. How do you feel? With a moon card. With a strong, strong moon card. Excuse me. Kiki, can you go down for a bit and come in? What do you want? Mm -hmm. I want you to come downstairs. I'm coming, okay? When you finish this. Yes, I'm coming. How long is it going to take? I don't know, but I'm coming. Okay. okay. Take it for one hour. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. Promise? Promise. Let's try to do it in one hour. If it works. But you see what I'm telling you? You need it. Your people's happiness. You might be feeling like people are always taking from you. But you have so much to give. The sun will burn for billions of years. The sun will burn for billions of years. You have so much reserves of that energy, of that joy. And you are responsible for that. You are the perfect person for that. The powers, the love you have. You're the perfect one for that. The perfect one. The perfect no other person, if they gave it to another person, trust me, they would waste it. Useless shit. Imagine if people had your power. Everybody would just, while that, waste it on 
the dumbest shit you could think on your mind. But you know you, what you're worth. Give it to somebody who don't deserve it and they will trash it. Be responsible of who you are and those you enlighten. Not saying be restrictive. However, be the light for those who are in the darkness. So much people in your life were stuck in the darkness. Or maybe they are. They don't know how to move on their life. They don't know how to deal with their life. Maybe, again, energy of, you might be dealing with people who just are used to disappointments. What you give is what you get. And maybe their whole life, they've been stabbed in the back. But when you enter their world, when you enter their reality, you bring them joy, happiness, celebration. You bring the darkest secrets to the light. And it's not something to be ashamed about. Because I don't feel like maybe they even have the decency to expose that. But they feel like you touch a part of them that never got touched before. They want to surrender around you and celebrate even their darkest secrets. You can bring them out. But it's, I'm not saying that's even major important. But you have that power right now. You make people's fear crumble. Let's get into your reading, Capricorn. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you're really valuable at this time in your environment, in your setting, in your dynamic. You are really important. People really look up to you. They always come to you for balance. And I haven't even... But this Capricorn needs to know for the next 48. I'm having troubles about this card. Can you give me the middle card? Okay, okay. So yeah, you are walking away. You are walking away. You are walking away from a situation you don't want to face, you don't want to deal with. Could be people. Could be a setting, a dynamic. Mm. Two of Swords wants to truly come in reverse so bad. I don't know why, but we'll see. What does um? What does Capricorn need to know for the next, for the month of August? What does Capricorn need to know for the month of August? What does Capricorn need to know for the month of August? What does Capricorn need to know for the month of August?
are those copper coordinates, you know, for the month of August? <laughs> oh god Capricorn you're standing tall you're standing tall what does Capricorn need to know for the month of August you're standing tall you committed to yourself to your beliefs to your partner Be careful of overspending, of um, rushing. Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, I would expect you to be uh, a bit strategic of your finances. Hmm. That's actually crazy. Uh, starting off the reading. <laughs> <laughs> uh, starting off the reading you get the six of pentacles like i said you are really valued in the community society you're dealing with uh the environment you're in like i said you bring balance to the people people cherish your presence people truly uh cherish your time and uh with a magician being here for the month of august i get the energy of whatever you want to manifest whatever you want to bring to light you have all the tools necessary with the Eight of Cups, I'm getting an energy of um, yeah, walking away. There's a comfortable situation that you might be in, a comfortable setting. You might be dealing with a lot of people. Or uh, you're so used to a situation that um, you feel like you're looking for something new, something more fulfilling, something more entertaining, and something more practical for you. If you're dealing with a lot of people, it's kind of like I'm going to see what's for me. You know, uh, it's cool and all to be in this setting. However, I'm going to actually said find what you know what adds value to me not what just is for everybody but just taking that sorrow road you know uh going off on your own and with the night of soul to see you uh being brave uh, to take action you know you're moving in to uh take action towards the situation we will see when we clarify um i feel like you might be having your mind focused on uh, a place where you want to go uh, or a field you want to I'll be battling in but i see the first coming uh, fast coming fast going energy with the knight of swords with the two of uh, swords i'm getting an energy of um you not trying to deal with the situation you know i'm not trying to deal with the emotional side um maybe because you, you're standing in your beliefs you know standing in your value standing in what you uh want for you you know you're focusing on your own growth your own expansion uh, your own dynamic in terms of the direction you're heading in. Uh, if you're having any ideas, any projects, you think you're standing by them because you believe in them, whatever you want to bring to fruition, I feel like you believe in it. Or whatever you're working on. Uh, but I see you being uh, open to conversation. Uh, with the three of... Ooh, excuse me. With the three of wands, I feel the energy of... Um, you realizing your achievements. Why you have got yourself in life, what you've been working on, um, where, where actually you headed, I want to say. You're looking to, through the future and you can see, you can see hope. You know, it's like you're planting your seeds for the future in, the, in a world that is a desert, I feel. Like I said, you bring hope to, you restore hope to lost situations. And in this case, you're restoring hope in your life. You're realizing what you are capable of. With the King of Swords, I'm getting an energy of you being protective of your energy. Uh, a, bit, a bit defensive, I don't know why. Uh, maybe you went through changes um maybe there's a situation that's really stressing you out however see you being protective of uh who you are what you have and where you're going with the hair front i'm getting an energy of uh commitment might be coming in commitment in a relationship commitment in a situation i could be long-term partnership i could be um 
signing of contracts if this is a relationship you're in you could be partnering up yeah, if this is a relationship you're in you could be being a bit defensive of your heart and there is somebody who want, who's a bit um flashy i want to say with the queen of pentacles a uh, flash with what they have flashy with uh, their material world uh, if this is just to you i feel an energy of maybe overspending that's taking place yeah i really get a sense of somebody might be admiring you or your work and maybe you were so work oriented that you you um that you you're not really much dealing with uh relationships i don't know or maybe this might be a contract that uh, a bit drains you of what you have. I don't know. We'll get into it. For the first row. You get the four of cups. Okay. With the Four of Cups, I feel like you have options around you. It might be in situations uh, you're looking through. Could be people around you. However, you have uh, a lot of options at this moment. Though you are focused on work, it's kind of like the options or the person who you're looking for, a situation you're looking for, is coming in time where um, it's coming in the time where you are actually focused on another thing. You know, you want one thing, you want... Um, you're looking for one thing or just you focused on other situations in front of you focused on your work and uh the offer the love offer comes in and it's kind of like i'm not ready for that you might be dealing with somebody or um a whole uh a whole situation in general i don't know i don't know i can't put a finger on it but could be business or just love related. However, it's something you emotionally invested in that may be walking away. You might be walking away from a situation now. Uh, the situation wants to offer you a cup. Or somebody wants to offer you a cup. With the uh, six of uh, pentacles. Why is the six of pentacles here? Yeah, you you have all the tools you need. Whatever you provide, I feel like it's within you. You have it with you. Why is the six of cups here? Nine of wands. Nearing completion. You know, you have uh, you have fought your battles. You have stood your ground. Stood for what you believe in. It's kind of like you're ready for your eggs to hatch. I don't know why. Five of uh, pentacles. And the Queen of Wands. And the Hierophant. Okay. Whatever you do, whatever job, whatever service you provide, I feel like you're truly committed to it. You're loyal to it. And you see the progress you have been made making. Uh, you see how far you have got. Maybe uh, you feel a bit of um, an outcast. You know, you feel like you do things differently from others. Uh, seeking your own uh, happiness in solitude. Seeking your own uh, happiness in terms of uh, where others go to seek it through one way, you turn around and change direction to go in another way. Uh, you could be dealing with a situation or connection that uh, might have ended up with uh, somebody being left out in the cold. But I see you standing by your belief. It's kind of like everything is fine, you know. It's, as long as 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 long as you try to push off a goat as long uh, off the mountain, it's going to land on his feet. Don't do that. To a literal goat, don't. I don't think that shit will land on its feet. I'm talking about Capricorns. With the nine of uh, pentacles, 
excuse me, nine of wands. I feel, feel oh, excuse me, with the nine of wands, I feel like you're nearing completion. You're seeing your work really grow. You're watching your, yourself even advance. It's kind of like I'm almost there. You have planted your seeds and your seeds have grew. And that's why you're able to provide this unique um, this unique duty or your service in general. Wherever you provide, it's truly, truly cherished. And it's not like something that was done overnight. No, it's a work that was a work, a work that was brought to fruition by over and over trials, multiple attempts. Along your journey, you could have felt like giving up, but there were some inspiration that kept you going. Feeling like there is no way out, there is no way in or just no way out. No way you can get to the top. But the universe kept on blessing you with uh, inspirations to carry you forward. The best of all, the universe encouraged you to stand in your power. Or currently you're being advised to stand in your power. If others want to communicate, yeah, communicate. If others want to talk, yeah, you can talk. But I'm not changing who I am for anybody or anything. I know what I want, I know I'm, what I'm going after. And nothing can face me. Because I hold my own luck. I hold my own destiny. I hold my own calling. And I know what I have achieved. And how far it can take me. You get the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Wands. Hmm. I'll go with the Judgment and the Page of Pentacles. Excuse me, Page of Cups. So, uh, Capricorn, I see major happiness coming in with the sun card. I'm telling you, the sun is a major big deal for you at this time. Major happiness. I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know where it's, where it's originating. However, it needs you to actually put your work on a pause. Maybe you've been burning yourself out, you know. Or maybe you just feel like you want to go hard, you know. At this time, I really see you being focused. It's kind of like you're reaching in deep. To bring back a side of you that was dead, done, gone. You know, it's kind of like, I'm sorry to say this. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not going to relate to everybody. Or it's going to, uh, I don't even think it's a Capricorn trait. But maybe, let's say you've been slacking off. You've been kind of lazy. And you're trying to bring that Capricorn that always wants to burn themselves out. They just want to go even more harder. You know why? Because your blessings are coming in. Because the progress is being made. Not even on the scale of three of wands. On the scale of eight of wands. Things are starting to move in. You're starting to see communication, people, um, information just flashing in. It's like everything and everyone is coming towards you. And it's bringing that sense of, oh, I found my mojo. I found my thing. I found my rap. And how you're being advised to take this is uh, take it slow. You could be also dealing with a love situation. I can't put that uh, under the rug. You might be dealing with a love situation where you might have uh, put your person on the side to focus on your work. And at this time, you're being advised to put the work on the side and actually, you know, give love a second, give love a minute. You could be messaging this person. This person could be coming through, you know, uh, like I said, text messages. It could be information coming through uh, email. But th there is some news information that's coming towards you. And it's going to uh, be a situation that was, let's say, put on a hold with the judgment. But now it's being resurrected. Whatever you thought it was over with, it's not completely over. Whoever you have on your mind, I feel like they're coming in. However, with the page of cups... I feel like they're slow and steady. They truly want to. Uh, they truly want to understand you and uh, keep things going. 
or make progress in this relationship. However, they're holding back with the Page of Cups. I feel like the page is defenseless. But I feel like also they don't want to rush it. They don't want to rush the situation. They do not want to rush the whole process. With the Page of Cups, they're truly offering themselves. But they're skeptic. They always pull back. But I see a major union that's taking place going to make you happy and it's going to find you in a place that you are financially stable. With the Ace of Cups, I really think this is somebody who's offering you love. Love. Somebody who's offering you love. Maybe they might, you might be walking away from chasing a lot of options and trying to be loyal. If this is not love, I feel like this is an opportunity to do something you love. And you're finally chasing your destiny. With the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here for Capricorn? You get the Five of Swords. Ooh. Not entertaining drama. Mentally already backed out of a situation. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Eight of Souls, I mean, Nine of Souls. Why is the Knight of Souls here? Damn, these Souls are really strong. Damn. Why is the Knight of Souls here? There is, there is a lot of mental conflicts going on, Capricorn. And with the Emperor and the Temperance, take control of your life. Do something different. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here? Judgment. I feel like you walked away from a situation and it's causing you some mental troubles. Uh, whether you should go back to it or just uh, move on from that. With the judgment, I get an, an energy of there might be a resurrection that's wanting to take place. And it's give, it's leaving you in a place of um, too much headache. Um, could be a situation that you, did I say walk away? It could be by means of cheating, um, playing dirty. Or just you did not want to entertain the situation and you chose to walk away. With the Nine of Swords, I see you having some stress about it. Wondering if it will go through or not. You know, Dark Knight of the Soul. Going through the Dark Knight of the Soul. You yourself, you are holy. Your intentions are holy. It's just that maybe how you see the situation, how you come across the situation, it gives you a lot of headache. With the judgment, I'm getting an energy of uh, this situation wants to come back to life. Oh, it's coming back to life. It's, it's, well, it's resurrecting. And it's causing you to be trapped in your head. Be a lot defensive. Capricorn, you're dealing with a lot of souls. A lot of souls. But there is an opportunity here. An opportunity to increase your finances, your material world. However, you're still stuck in the waiting process. 
maybe that's what's causing you to um feel this stress it's cause you're not seeing your work come to a completion whatever you're holding on to you're waiting for it to come to fruition however it's still giving you that mental trouble that mental chaos that mental conflict it's trap you trapped in your head for quite a bit With the Knight of Swords, I see you're rushing in to take action. Second row. Strength. 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 You are on your right path. You are guided and you're fearless at this point. However, you don't seem like you want to face your emotions. I see an imbalance in your emotional side. Why is the Two of Swords here in reverse for Capricorn? Why is the Two of Swords here in reverse for Capricorn? Justice. Justice shows up in your life. And maybe you don't want to deal with it. You don't want to face it. You don't want to accept it, maybe. <laughs> maybe it's an obstacle uh, uh, um, you come up, you're supposed to come across in your life. But walk with no fear. Show no fear. Why is it two of swords here? Alright, the chariot and the three of cups. With the chariot, I feel like you're feeling a, a pull of energies um, at this time. Um... But you have a direction when I add in. It might be conflict around you, arguments, wall, just some chaos around you. However, you have a place and direction you want to head in. And you're chasing that victory, going after that victory. Maybe things might have been unfair to you. And you just want to move away from that situation. But you know, fairness or justice is supposed to be... Provided in one's life. It's necessary. Two major arcanas. Three major arcanas. Strength, justice, and the chariot. Whatever you're going through in your life. Is going to be justified by the universe. And with the chariot being here. You're going to have to keep on pushing forward. Because as you move forward. There's going to be a celebration. A union. Uh, it could be a family union, could be a friends, uh, it could be a third party relationship, but is there is a happiness that's taking place. But I don't see this as a relationship. I see this more more like a family union or celebration. The hangman, uh, maybe see a new perspective of a situation. Uh, Queen of uh, Wands, you're standing in your beliefs, you know, standing for what you believe in, standing for what you want to um, pursue or go with. Uh, Queen of, excuse me, Queen of Wands, you get the Ace of Wands, an inspiration in a new direction, uh, motivation, growth and expansion. It's adding on to that fire within you, you know.
the devil are you cutting any toxic chains in your life any toxic bonds any addictions Yeah, to go, uh, I feel like to go and pursue what you want, what you like. With the Page of Cups, I feel like uh, you understand the situation or you're just trying to give uh, a benefit of the doubt to the situation you might be in. With a new direction you might be heading in, you might be trying to see how you can make things work out, things work for you. With the Page of Cups, I feel like you're trying to see what you can offer or what your person might be offering if this is a love related. Page of Cups. Trying to take things really slow. Towards where you're heading. Next up, you have the three of... Um, mm. I feel like the Page of Cups, the reason why, maybe, uh, if this is a love-related situation, uh, maybe... <sighs> okay, not for everybody but you might be at the same time you might be dealing with a person who has other people involved in their energy third parties i want to say and uh, at the same time it's like yeah i'm not gonna waste my feelings towards that and you want to go towards your own direction you want to go towards your own uh way and you're cutting yourself loose from that toxic bond you know it's kind of like everybody just wants to do their own thing however i'm going after my uh on success and with the page of cups i feel like you're taking your love life really slow you know you're not rushing it uh if somebody is doing their own thing you know let them do that however i have my own uh worth i have my own beliefs i have my own cup to offer and i'm not rushing to uh offer it to anybody or anything yeah and i uh, see you being defensive of you lady in your life In this reading, I can say Capricorns with the Two of Swords in reverse. Capricorns are not best with their feelings. And that's true. Can't deal with that shit. That shit wasn't designed for us. Mm -hmm. But there's going to be an opportunity coming up um, to increase your uh, values or your uh, physical world or physical realm. You, you have the three of... Um, Three of Wands. Okay, with the three, okay, Jesus Christ, we come back to the third party, or just to the celebration, uh, to the victory, to the union. You realize um, what you have achieved, and so is the people around you. And uh, those who have walked away, I feel like some particular person who had walked away, they're coming back, you know, they're not done with you, with the Eight of Cups. Um, yeah, I really see them... Um, coming back or it could be you it could be you who's coming back to this situation to uh, have fun and entertain yourself with the page of wands i really see you uh trying to see what's the next motivation inspiration direction to head in in the future and i see you resting when uh coming back towards the situation with the queen of cups in reverse i don't see you offering your cup as much as uh you know offering yourself but i really see you holding back your energy um If this is the third party, I don't see you offering your love or just your emotions. It's just being present to be present. Get the benefits and then get out, you know. <laughs> I don't know. What's behind the three of cups? Queen of wands. Still stuck in your beliefs. Or just stuck in your values. You're not offering no cup to... 
sorry but in all honesty you're not walking away either maybe it's because you see this person and you see their values you see what they can provide you see where they can take you and that's why it's hard for you to walk away Uh, I want to ask one thing. What is the Queen of Cups in reverse? Why is the Queen of Cups in reverse? Okay, some secrets are hidden in this connection. Relationship is some secrets are in. And uh, maybe you are holding secrets in terms of uh, now you have other people in your energy. Uh, or you have third parties around you and uh, you're going back to just having people in your energy it's not a bad thing it's just like you're walking away from um being treated one way and now you're going to treat others that way i don't know it's like sorry sorry for the bad joke it's like you're walking away from um a country that's having woe and you're like i don't want woe but as soon as you step into the other one now you want to cause woe But it's because you feel good, you know, it's because you feel good and uh, you see your achievements, your worth. You know, Capricorns, always it's hard for, um, it's hard for a Capricorn to really celebrate. Yeah, it's hard for a Capricorn to really celebrate when they haven't uh, really hit their goals or achievements. But now you feel like you have hit your achievements. Now you feel like you can play. You can have that party. You can, you know, enjoy yourself. Sometimes it'd be like that, you know. We can't celebrate when we're in the middle of the process, but when we are done. Let's, let's turn up, you know. King of Swords. Uh, uh, before the qu King of Swords, I feel like, uh, yeah, whatever you provide, still, strong Six of Cups. I feel like your achievements are dealing with whatever service or job you provide, whatever your talents are to the society, whatever gift you provide to the society. It's, um, it's, it's bringing in love and new relationships. And if you're wondering where the connections are coming from, by the third row, Five of Wands, a lot of ideas, suggestions being thrown in the air. Uh, Queen of Swords, Jesus Christ, King of Swords, King of Swords, sorry, King of Swords, why is the King of Swords here for Capricorn? Hmm. Capricorn is being a bit defensive, hot guarded. Emotionally backed off. I feel like this situation is dealing with work. I really feel like this situation is dealing with work. With the King of Swords, I feel like it might be defensive of your energy and trying to see um, how can I improve myself? How can I do better? Work, what I provide? How can I, you know? Um, oh my goodness. Ten of Swords. You feel stabbed in the back by somebody or something. Maybe that's why you're feeling, it feels like whatever you try, you truly can't get through. You can't break through. Anyway, let's see, why is the King of Swords in reverse? Now, now I want to see, now I'm intrigued. Why is the King of Swords in reverse, uh, excuse me, why is the King of Swords here for the Capricorn? Justice. Strong desire for balance in your life. Why is the King of Swords here? Ace of Cups. Death card. Um... You come to a point where um, you put love on a hold. Uh, connection had to end. Damn. Uh, it could be somebody stabbed you in the back. And just um, 
full on um I wanna say betrayal. You might have offered your cup to somebody and um uh, in hopes for a new beginning. But they were so caught up in their world they I feel like they were just Maybe, maybe you ended the situation. Maybe you ended the situation, Capricorn. With the Death card, it's like you true on closing a chapter. And with the Ace of Cups, that you, the, I don't see you even paying attention to the offer like there is no offer you're not offering somebody your heart maybe you might be dealing with somebody who broke your heart somebody who had other people in their energy or something going on and right now i really see you focusing on your finances and that's why you true on being defensive not letting any bullshit in because Cap as soon as you had a capricorn yeah you're not gonna like that side of them the next coming years Good luck. Uh, the three of Swords, the Justice. The Six of uh, Swords. I get an energy of the setting you might have been in, or just the situation in general. was a bit chaotic, troublesome, conflicted. And uh, it just it caused you to be uh, greedy of your energy or your resources. Or moving forward, you have to secure your own financial life. Communication was taking place, or communication is taking place. And uh, I see you uh, enjoying your success, your balance. So you're coming to a time where you feel financially set. With the judgment, I feel there, there is a resurrection within a connection. Somebody wants to try out something different with the temperance. Queen of Cups, they want to offer you something. And it's causing you a lot of mental troubles. So then, why is this situation... Why is the Ace of Cups... Why... Is, okay, I feel like the reason why the Ace of Cups is in reverse, you pulled back. You pulled back to focus on your work. Maybe too many plays, too many, um, uh, too many lies in that situation. And you pull back. The death card is just, you walked away. Maybe you felt the situation was not as promising as it sounds. And it caused you to feel a sense of loss. However, you came to a realization that you have so many options coming towards you. But you're already focused on your work. The Seven of Cups. Queen of Swords. Being a bit defensive of who you let in. Or you might be dealing with a Queen of Swords in your life who has so many options. And uh, as soon as you saw that perspective, you decided to throw on walk away. Or you cut this person off. Now they're being defensive. Maybe you found your maybe you found your counterpart. Let's deal with that. You found like somebody who's the same as you. And um, well, both of you move towards each other in terms of. King and Queen of Souls, true on defensive. And you decided to cut that connection off. With the High Priestess, I'm getting a strong energy of uh, somebody not listening to their intuition. Somebody using their mind over heart. King of Souls. The hair front. Why is the hair front here?
nine of pentacles two of pentacles i really think you're being loyal to what you do loyal to your beliefs and standards especially with the hair front yeah, you're being loyal to your spiritual life as well as your uh, physical or just your whole life in general and the emperor yeah you're taking control of your life with the hair front um yeah you're deciding uh yeah, I think maybe you're deciding to put the offer that's coming in for you at the halt. Maybe this person you're dealing with, you ended things with, they want to come back in and you're like, I'm not trying to deal with you. But with the, with the Nine of Pentacles, I feel the energy of self-abundancy, self-reliance. Uh, you seeing the achievements coming in for you and uh, you can really flex on your own. You can, you can feel the happiness and joy on your own. Uh, you can see that the universe has blessed you and your work. Your efforts are being recognized. And uh, it's kind of... Um, yeah, you, you've been working hard. Because with the two of uh, pentacles, I feel like you got to balance out your work and play time. Because I wouldn't say that if it wasn't you working really hard. First of all, you walk away from uh, all um, other comfortable situations to focus on what's for you. Second, you stand for what you believe. Third, you actually become strong on law you and take control over your life you know like nobody's going to uh help you in terms of uh, nobody's going to take control over your life other than you nobody's going to uh, i feel like there's another word coming in my head but forget about it uh, with the emperor I feel like you know yeah nobody wants to take charge other than you you know it's your life you must really earn up to it you must live up to it and with the emperor I feel like you're doing that with the two of pentacles, I feel like just balance out your energies. You know, you might be spending so much time working and you forget, um, you know, playing play time. Because, uh, yeah, the, the journey you're walking on is kind of wavy, up and down, um, mountains, wave, waves. But but balance out your work and play time. It's, more, uh, it's going to be more efficient. You know, it's going to allow you to have more control. Rather than digging your head through work, I feel like maybe try to balance it out. It's going to be uh, plant some play. Plenty some, plenty some pay coming in. And now let's see why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse for the Capricorn? Why is the Queen of Pentacles for the Capricorn? You have the Empress. Uh, see you healing up. Healing up, uh, restoring your energy. I get a tower. Uh, the the tower, the five of uh, cups, the temperance. I feel like you might have lost some opportunities, some people along the way to get to where you want to go. Uh, you might have had to lose some people, you know, just uh, others wanted to be entertaining. Others wanted to have fun, but you were focused on your own craft. You know, sometimes it happens, especially at Capricorns. Uh, I don't know what side that is. Uh, you might have chose to walk away from a situation because it was just the fight wasn't for you. You know, uh, Knight of Souls. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Eight of um, Eight of Wands. Is there anything else I need to know by the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? I don't think you are as stable as you think. I'm gonna need to get a bit of clarity on that. Your whole financial life. You might not be where you wanna be, let's see. The fourth pentacle is in reverse. Uh, generosity, financial loss perhaps, but with a reassessment of priorities and change to a lifestyle more focused on love, health and happiness. Yeah, Capricorn, I really think you're working so hard in terms of uh, maybe focus on love a bit. Focus on um, your emotional side. Like it says, focus on love, health, and happiness. You know, you might be having to uh, spend more than uh, you have. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not saying like spend more than you have, but you know, you might be having to spend a lot in terms of uh, you know changing your lifestyle for a bit, you know, rewarding yourself. But uh, sometimes we gotta do that, you know. Sometimes 
don't go crazy, right? But uh, uh, let's see. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Um, lost bearing. A woman feeling a cast adrift, losing her sense of security and knowledge of herself and the world. She needs to take stock and plant her fit family on the ground. You need to plant your fit family on the ground. I still, I still don't get that. I still don't get that Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? I see you healing up yourself with the Empress, nurturing yourself. You know, taking care of yourself. I don't know if that becomes an issue where you have to maybe overspend towards yourself, towards what you have. You know, maybe uh, when you have money, you get a bit carried away. You know, I don't know if that's you. With the Knight of Swords, you might be actually taking action, deciding to, you know, go after opportunities or just go after, rush in. I see you rushing in in a situation. Uh, I feel like, sorry, I feel like maybe you're rushing into uh, shopping. I don't know. I don't know. Trust me. I don't know. I, I want to clarify this card so hard. But there's a big opportunity that's coming in with Ace of Swords. And, uh, yeah. I think you have to release something. Something in your life is dead done with. And I feel like you have to release that chapter. Getting high. I don't know if that's your thing or not. But I felt like with half feet not planning on the ground, maybe you might be getting high. I don't know. But there's a chapter in your life that was closed with the ten of uh, wands. I feel like you have to release, let it go, and invest yourself in the future. Move on from a situation. Invest yourself in the future. Because it's not causing you any stability. It's causing you to actually uh, lose a lot. With the four of uh, pentacles and the queen of pentacles, you're actually do going through a financial loss at this time. Um... Uh, Ace of Swords, yeah, be brave and courageous and uh, go after what inspires you. Go after uh, new ideas. Something caused you a heartbreak and you deciding to um, get out of that connection or situation to truly focus on uh, financial opportunities coming up. It's best to, though, it starts off with the Six of Pentacles and it ends with the Six of Pentacles. Focus, 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 regardless, stand in your beliefs. Focus. It's not. It's not like you might. You might be getting some abundance along the way, and you feel like, oh, I have hit a gold mine. I have hit. A, I have hit a milestone. No, focus. Focus. Regardless of how much you have, keep that hunger with you. Keep that hunger. Do not lose. Invest in yourself and uh, keep on providing the service and the job you do. You know, it might be coming off as really good. You know, people around you might really be enjoying what you do or what you provide. But have that hunger within you. Let it be your drive. You might be getting uh, communication coming in through. But uh, yeah, reuniting with your lover. That's crazy. Maybe your lover wants to go out and uh, you overspend. Oh my goodness. You overspending on them. I mean, Capricorns, we take care of those we love. But damn, if you're going to uh, overspend on them, what the fuck are you doing? You know, I know I know, it feels good treating other people good. But... Do <sighs> Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. If this is a love situation where you feel like you got to treat your person really good because you see, uh, but don't, don't, you know. Sometimes I want to say, like, let other people treat you, you know. Let other people take you out. The world still goes to the sun. Like, let, yeah. Don't, don't overspend no money on anybody. Trust me. Until you are uh, committed you are intertwined or just uh, you are seriously involved with each other. Don't overspend money on anybody. If you feel like you do, please make sure that you're financially set. Not actually digging through your savings or just uh, wasting. Yeah. Uh, Capricorn, I see you having some achievements uh, along the way. Uh, yeah, you're being happy and celebrating because uh, I feel like you have reached a point where you wanted to go. 
uh, you're planting your uh, four of wands, you, that foundation for yourself. You might be getting a home with somebody or just building onto to get a home with a partner. And are uh, you celebrating where you have got, you know, where you have reached? Uh, with the five of uh, cups, I'm getting an energy of uh, five of cups in reverse. Um, don't lose hope on whatever you feel like you, you, you want to waste, you know. It's not over. It's never truly over. It's just that you have to close out a chapter. However, people are going to always be around. And with the lovers, I feel like you're meeting a potential partner, somebody who gets you, somebody who serves on the same wavelength, somebody who you share interest with, and they could be looking for a family, or both of you could be coming together to have a celebration of where you have got in life or what you have achieved in life. Thank you, Capricorn. I really hope you're having a nice day. I really hope this reading resonated. And the true own hope you made it to the end of the video. If you do, please do come back for the future. I highly doubt you made it to the end of the video, but if you did, please be sure to come back sometime in the future. Thank you.